Ugh, smartwatches. Apple's the only one that makes a good one. Wear OS? <laughs> Not anymore. Apparently. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> what kind of watch is this? This is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. It's a watch from Samsung with an OS made by Google. The first Wear OS watch that's not useless to come out in however many years, it's not even made by Google. <laughs> but hopefully it's good. I guess we're gonna find out. I am a, an avid Samsung watch guy, but this is not Wear OS. This is using Tizen. This is the uh, Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2, which is a whole other topic of discussion, the, the whole naming scheme. It's a, quite a mess, but I currently do use a Samsung watch, so this is interesting to me. So I guess let's unbox it. Um, there's not a lot to unbox, I don't think. I imagine I'm gonna open this and I might see a watch. Whoa, look, a watch! <laughs> oh, there's there's some other stuff, hold on. I think it's literally just a couple pieces of paper. So this device in particular is the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. We also have, over here, the Galaxy Watch 4. <laughs> Interestingly enough, they have changed up the naming schemes here. On the last generation, the active watch was the one that got a sort of suffix. This one is the active two, part of the watch three series. <laughs> this generation, they've changed that, sort of reversed it. The active looking and feeling version is the watch four. And then the classic one with the physical dial is now the one that has a suffix, and this is called the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Oh man, this black background is not ideal. I think what we're gonna do, as much as you should definitely check out lttstore.com and get yourself a mouse pad. Oh, oh, it's so much better, Andy. <laughs> you can actually see what we're looking at. Oh, geez. So in the box, usually you would get a little cable like this. Um, it's just your standard charging cable, plugs into. Interestingly enough, it's still type A USB. Um, Samsung hasn't jumped off that bridge yet, I guess. So it's just a little magnetic guy, clips on like that. Um, it feels pretty similar to the previous generation in terms of magnetness. So in order, we got the previous generation Active 2, have the Galaxy Watch 4, and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. In terms of the outside aesthetic, we've definitely seen a few updates. They have sort of smoothed out the side over the previous generation. They've also switched from a circular button to a square on both of them for this side. And the profile of the watch, while it looks to be pretty well the same depth overall, maybe a tiny bit smaller, they have smoothed out the back. You see that, Andy? On the old watch, there was sort of a bump. On this one, it's nice and smooth. After wearing it for a couple of days, I can definitely say that this watch feels more natural. It's smoother, and as somebody that doesn't personally like wearing a watch, I've never really liked it, I was able to get used to this, but I almost don't even notice this watch on me. There is a lot of versions here, so I'm gonna have to read this off of the paper. For the Watch 4, there's two versions, a 40 mil or a 44 mil, depending on how big your wrist. I think we have the 44. And then for the Watch 4 Classic, there's a 42 and a 46 mil. This is the 46. This is, you know, as by the name suggests, a classy -er watch. <laughs> that was a bad joke, all right. As for the rest of the outside, they do have a couple new colors, which is cool. Um, the bands feel very similar to before. It's kind of like a fancy plastic. I think you can definitely get some other bands probably. Um, yeah, it looks like the exact same mechanism. So there's just a little pin. You pull that down and pop it in place. Go like that. Oh, wait. oh wow, this one slides entirely. Oh, that is different actually. What the hell? All right, I lied. It's a little different. Let's pop this guy on. Seems like the band sizing is the same. Man, this is an exceptionally comfortable watch. I am a huge fan of this new generation. We'll definitely probably be buying one. But let's try the classic. I've never really been a fan of these watches because they are a little kludgier. What the, what? <laughs> what? Kludgier? Yeah, you don't think it's kludgier? It's bigger. Oh no, I'm just like, is that real? real? Kludgy? Yeah. Oh, this wheel is so nice. ASMR. All right, I'm gonna start up the classic. Let's try this out. Um, it's not turning on, so I guess I'll have to tell you a word from our sponsor, Manscaped. 
Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0 is designed to make grooming below the waist easier with their Lawnmower 4.0, above the waist easier with their Weed Whacker Nose Trimmer, plus you get a bunch of other cool goodies like their Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver sprays to keep things fresh down below. So get 20% off plus free international shipping at the link down below. Oh yeah, cool, Samsung. So it doesn't say Google, which is interesting. I did not make my notification. Oh wow, look at that. You see that? A new device has been detected. I didn't even open the wearable app yet, so that's cool. Editor, why don't you put a, uh, a time counter to see how long it takes to set this up. For your review, sending him diagnostic data. Yes, take all my anonymized data that's really not that anonymous. Cool, getting Google account info. This might take a few minutes. Oh, it's definitely Google. I just wanna spin this dial more. Oh. oh my God. Okay, I think we're connected. We got 44% battery. Take a tour, start, whoa. Swipe down, swipe up. Hey, did you know if you swipe one way, the screen will move that way? <laughs> Who would've thought? So right off the bat, I'm gonna say the responsiveness is definitely better. You almost, don't even notice when it hitches a little bit. So we got some new stuff here. There's a body composition. I think it's called a BIA sensor, um, which can like measure your body fat index or whatever, body mass index. Uh, they got some supposedly new sleep stuff. Got your calendar there. An ECG, which we can't use in Canada because it's not approved by Health Canada. If I go learn more, it's gonna say, you can't do this in your region. Heart rate, let's measure our heart rate. What are the odds this one works? Oh, it's working, nice, okay, cool. My resting heart rate is 79 right now. A little bit higher than resting average. Probably because I'm on camera. Oh, we can measure my stress? How does that work? Yeah, but it doesn't have any historical data. No! My car's not even here! Breathe. Wait, so I guess I'm not stressed? Breathe. Six cycles, nope, not doing that. <laughs> oh, Linus will love this. The badminton tracker actually works on the watch now. Previously, I could only ever find it on my phone and it wouldn't sync to the watch, but now, badminton right there. What else we got here? We got apps. Oh, this interface is definitely better than the Apple Watch. I can't stand the like, globe. Can, yeah, can we just show that? How do I even open it on this? There we go. I have always hated this. <laughs> Apple, this is not, I mean, it's not bad, but it's, okay, it's, it is bad. <laughs> this is not intuitive until you remember the location of all like 150 icons here. That's why I will never use that. But this, it's one axis of play. I only have one axis I can mess around with. It's almost kind of like pages on your smartphone. Oh, here, I'll show you guys what the ring looks like. Um, you see if we twist here, it goes to the right. It's just a way to navigate your watch, basically. At the bottom, look at that. He has like the biggest tan line I've ever seen. A watch tan line? Wow, can you show that on camera? Holy <laughs> crap. Oh my God, that's horrible. Hey, I oh. have a watch. Wait, turn your arm. Oh. Don't tell my wife. Yeah. That's a bad watch tan. <laughs> oh, it's doing some, oh, Bixby, no. That's not what I wanted. Can you use Google Assistant on this? I really hope you can use Google Assistant on this. Samsung has said that the AI Assistant will arrive at a later date, but did not specify when. Okay, cool. So there is hope for this running not a shit virtual assistant, but uh, we can at least use Bixby. Hey Bixby, why do you suck so bad? Mm, I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> I'm always getting better. No, wow. you're not. <laughs> the only thing worse than Bixby is Siri. <laughs> you know, for a really small interface, this Google Play Store on Wear OS is, it's pretty functional. Are these games? Oh my God. I can play 2048. Why? What? Like, can you play COD Mobile on a watch? <laughs> hey, look, look at my little caddo. It's so cute. Oh, oh, that's cool. If I had my phone playing audio, like say if I had this plugged into some speakers, 
I can use this to adjust the volume. That's cool. Oh! It's got a little, little you know, dial a number thing. Okay, it's there. John O'Tan, there we go, we're calling. Hi. Can you hear me? It's kind of quiet, honestly. Hey, I'm talking about stuff and things. How do I sound? I sound good? Yeah, it sounds fine. It's not like as good as a phone. But how about me? I'll, I'll just, I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It sounds not bad. Oh, there we go. Oh, there, I turned the volume up. Okay, let me just try switching it to my phone. Really quick, before you hang up. Switch to phone. Uh, hi. Hey. That was really seamless. Let's try switching back. Hello. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. Wow. All right. I hung up on him. I didn't even say bye. I'm just a bad guy. So clearly this watch can do a lot of things. We can make phone calls. We can control the music on our phone. Um, it seems to serve a lot of purposes. For me, my watch is mostly there just as a way to check notifications without having to take my phone out of my pocket. I even sort of like filter them just so I only get priority notifications on the watch, which is nice. I definitely want to change this watch face because it is so ugly. Oh, they're all ugly. I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna be a bear. I'm a bear now. Oh, look! Oh, he's got a friend. That's cute. Can I customize him? Who is this bear? We're, wa we're watching a movie. You see that? Bear and dude are watching a movie. Good. Ooh, here's the thing to note. This watch, a lot better at the raising your arm awareness if you're not using it always on display. I have a lot of problems with my Galaxy Watch Active 2 um, with not registering. It seems like they have tuned this watch to be a lot more aggro about it. But if you even just barely lift your arm up, like if I just go, let me put it on my arm. We gotta get a side by side here. All right, we got both watches. Oh, oh, there we go. Got one without it that time. In terms of daily driving them with this specific watch, I don't think there was a single instance of me being like, come on, activate. Whereas I get that daily with my previous gen Active 2. The new versions are using an OLED screen like the previous generation, but this time around they have Corning Gorilla Glass DX Plus, which is the same sort of glass that they use on a lot of the camera lenses. So that's interesting. You get a little bit higher display resolution. So it's 450 on the large and 396 by 396 on the smaller version. They also have more storage. You're going from four gigabytes on the Active 2 to 16 on these newer models. They have the same amount of RAM, I think. All the new ones are one and a half gigs of RAM. And then the battery is also technically a little bit bigger than the Active 2. This is 340 and the new ones are 361, at least for the larger size and 247 on the smaller size. So overall, I'm pretty impressed. The look and feel of these new devices, I'm gonna say that the previous device was pretty good, but they have definitely improved on the comfort factor. They've definitely improved on the looks factor. It seems like they've improved on the usability factor, which is impressive given that they've completely switched to a new operating system. I'm excited to see improvements in the space and I think I'm gonna pick one of these up. If you think this watch is just as cool as I do, because eh, pretty cool, you can look at the link in the description where you can actually buy one. And then on top of that, you should get subscribed while you're down there, like the video, and why not check out another one of our short circuit unboxings and overviews, like uh, on the one Linus did on the Tick Watch. That was a pretty cool watch. Goodbye. See you. <laughs>